Here we're going to find a beta expected return and volatility of a portfolio, but we're going to do it with a very special portfolio. So this is a portfolio that's comprised of the following two assets. One, the overall market portfolio. So that's the first component. And the second component is T-bills. Okay, so again, we've got a two asset portfolio. One of the assets is the overall stock market. The other asset is T-bills. And so let's uh, define some terms up front that we're gonna use later. So let's start with our weights. So WM is gonna be the weight in the overall market portfolio. And I could say WRF as the uh, weight in the risk-free security or the weight in the, in, in the T-bill, but instead I'm gonna use the fact that the weights have to sum to one and we have a two asset portfolio to simply say one minus WM is the weight in T-bills. And so remember, this is the risk-free asset. Okay, so these are my two weights. Let's start with beta. And so we know that a portfolio beta is just the weighted average of the betas of the components. And so for this particular portfolio, it's gonna be WM times beta M plus one minus WM times the beta of the T bill. So I'll call that beta of risk free. Now we can simplify this quite a bit by remembering two things. First thing we can remember is that the beta of the overall stock market is what? It's exactly one by definition. Second thing that we can remember is since T-bills are risk-free and beta is a measure of risk, this beta here becomes zero. And so what do we have? We have the portfolio beta is just WM. Makes the problem really simple, right? And so what is the portfolio beta here? Well, it's just the weight in the overall market portfolio. So the portfolio beta is 0.4. All right, now let's move to expected return. Okay, so once again, we have um, our general formulas. The expected return of a portfolio is the weight in M times the expected return of M plus one minus the weight of M times the expected return of this other asset, the expected return of the T-bill, and so that is simply going to be the risk-free rate. All right, so we've got enough information now to solve. All right, we've already solved for the weights. It's 0.4 and 0.6, right? So this is 0.4, this is 0.6, and we can see the expected return of the market portfolio on the T-bill rate here, and so we can just insert these and, and go. 0.4 times 0.12 plus 0.6 times 0.04. So the portfolio's expected return is 0 0.07. So there's the answer. Now, we could also use the fact that we calculated this portfolio's beta. And portfolio beta. And then we could just use the cap M uh, to do this calculation as well. We could use the cap M to calculate the portfolio's 
expected return, and that is the risk-free rate plus the beta's portfolio times market risk premium. We can insert those values from above. Risk-free rate is 0.04. Portfolio beta is 0.4 here. Same thing as the weight in the overall stock market. And then the market risk premium is 0.12 minus 0.04. And guess what? 0.072. And so we can get to the answer either way. All right, one more calculation, that is the portfolio's volatility. So generally, we can think of a two asset portfolio's variance, right? We calculate the variance first, then take the square root to get to the volatility. So we can think of that as the first asset's weight squared times the first asset's variance plus Second asset's weight squared times that asset's variance. And so I'll say variance of the risk-free asset plus two times the product of the volatilities times the correlation between the two assets. So that's the general formula. But remember, these assets are special, and so they're gonna simplify, things are gonna simplify here as well. Uh, first thing that I wanna recognize, well, really the only thing I need to recognize here is the following. Since the T-bill, again, is risk-free, that's gonna be zero, and that's zero, and that's zero, so that term goes to zero. And so sigma squared P or the portfolio variance is just the weight in the market squared times the variance. And we can actually go ahead here and take the square root of both sides before we insert values. So sigma P is WM times sigma M. And so if we can just insert those values, we will be done. So what is the weight in the overall stock market? That's 0.4. What's the volatility of the overall stock market? That is 0.22. And the answer is 0 0.088. There is the portfolio's volatility.